Hello and welcome to our class collective worship today. Let's begin with our opening responses. The Lord be with you and also with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Now you join me once again in St Mary and St Thomas of Becket Much Birch because the theme for today is about the skills that people offer, not just for um, uh, decoration, but also for the kind of life as a whole. But I want to highlight two things. Firstly, um, you'll see a picture in a moment of the ceiling of part of the church at Much Birch. And when we talked last week, you might remember, we talked about friendship and prisoners of war who were um, billeted in Yorkshire and here in Herefordshire too. And the story is that in the Second World War, when some Italian soldiers were, were kept here, um, and when they weren't working on the farm, one or two of them were quite artistic, and they decorated the ceiling of this bit of the chancel here at Much Birch. And I'll show you a picture of that. But not only have we got that bit of uh, wonderful kind of artwork above me here, um, to my left we've also got all the wonderful stained glass, uh, which was recently restored and well worth a visit if you pop by the church. Uh, okay. um, and also we have a specially made altar, not this one, this is a, a one, that I mean this was specially made, this is Victorian, but we have a modern altar as well that was made by a local craftsman. So we've got lots of arty things and crafts, craftily made things in our church which show off people's skills and there's a long history of people doing this not just in places like Hereford Cathedral um, and if you would get a chance to go in you can see all the wonderful stained glass and carvings and things but right the way through all sorts of places stately homes and even kind of quite modest homes have bits of art and craft to make them just sing make them more interesting places but we go back even further. We can go right back to the Old Testament, to the story of the time of the people of Jesus before Jesus was born. Um, and um, Moses um, sets out for the people of God a kind of a challenge. He says, you know, I have uh, I filled people with the spirit of God, with wisdom and understanding and knowledge of all kinds of skills to make artistic designs for working gold and silver and bronze, to cut and set stones, to work in wood and to engage in all kinds of crafts. Enga engravers, designers, embroiderers in blue, purple and scarlet yarn and fine linen, weavers, all of them, skilled workers and designers. So even through all history, we've taken those talents that God's given us and used them to make the world a better place. And it's really nice that we've got some examples of that here in our, uh, in our church. You've got some at school as well with the, I mean, you might get so used to them, you kind of just kind of look past them. But next time you're in the main hall, have a look at some of the decoration. That was made by children from the school in previous years. And every now and then we get round to renewing it and rebuilding, uh, uh, re -putting, uh, putting up a new display which shows the skills that people have. And not everybody's gifted with artistic skills. Like me, I can't draw for toffee. I'm, I'm hopeless at drawing. But that doesn't mean I haven't got other skills that I can offer. Hopefully, really good with words, with talking about faith and things like that. So I've got the gifts that God's given me and you've got the gifts that God has given you, and together we can work and use them, not just to make things look pretty, I mean, that's, that's a lovely thing to do, absolutely, but also perhaps to send a statement. Perhaps, you know, you've seen modern artworks made out of uh, recycled plastic to remind us, you know, we've got to care for the environment. Or perhaps if you've been to the Forest of Dean and you've walked the sculpture trail, you know, perhaps if you get a chance at half term, if the weather's reasonable, get a chance at half term, take your mum and dad down to the Forester Dean and walk the sculpture trail and see how people have used their abilities that God's given them to make the world a better place. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for craftsmen and craftswomen who create beautiful things for us to enjoy. Help us to find ways to be creative. Amen. 
And let's say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. I do hope you enjoy your um, half term coming up and I'll see you again in a couple of weeks and maybe later in June we might actually be able to come in and be part of the school life as well and look forward to seeing you all. Take care and goodbye.